next, I'm just going to slap the figure four on. But then we're going to get into figure four power hat and sack of potatoes, all that short boot stuff. So, uh, all right. So, a couple things. Again, um, you know, when you go half, some of you guys are just slapping it on and pulling. And Dumbin Man's doing a nice job for you and falling right down for you. I'm being sarcastic. That's not good. Got to change directions. I go here first, all right? And if I had more time to teach it, I don't lead with the outside leg where my hips come up here. I stay in tight, like I'm kneeing them in the rib. Now, did anyone get to the straight position right here? You feel like a superhero or what? Yeah, you're like, oh my god, I'm, I'm like taking all his energy, gaining his strength. That's how I feel. And when you get into college, and uh, riding time exists, you, you're right here, you're loving life, okay? So, I got this guy right here in TV position. The pros are, this is a knife, there's a lot, this is an empty canvas, I can throw the boot in, I can tight waist them, I can chop them in two on one, right? The downside is he can hit play stop back up real quick, go ahead. Yeah. Hit place that way or just high leg over. All right, so, you know, and, and again, what, what stops that high leg over? Go ahead, and just come back over. Yep, that. Right, it stops it, yes. Right, if you're, okay, so, now I try, how are you guys just grabbing this wrist? Grabbing this wrist does nothing for you. Nothing. I might as well do that. What do I need to do? And don't pull it in, right? Did you say pulling in? Yeah, no. Why not pulling in though? Because you, you know, if I got a guy from Iowa, I'm not going to be able to pull this wrist in. It's not going to happen. It's going to drive over. Right? Yeah, you got to drive over. Plus, it takes less energy. Watch out. All right, now, if I want to get the boot in right now, and I try to do it this way, I look like a dog peeing on a fire hydrant, right? And what else can he do right now? Right? Yes? Everyone agree? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to elongate my body, post my head on the mat, and do a shallow boot. I'm going to spend a, a little bit of time here because this is important stuff. So I elongate my body. I post my head for balance. I go shallow boot right here. Put my heel right under his head. Now, nine out of ten times, he's just going to square his hips. And then we end up here, and that's where I create my figure four. I do a leg curl like I'm in the weight room here, and do a four. I create a what? What's up? A four. Okay. Now, if I stay here like this, yeah, with my kneecap on the mat, or even part of my kneecap on the mat, what can he do to me? He can come up. He can back down. You can hit me down, okay? So no part of my kneecap touches the mat. Watch. Like the mat. Okay, so you barely watch. See this toe right here? It's curled. So this is a battery circuit current where it's going right, if he's struggling against me, it's going right back into him. It's going to be up here like that. Right here. And look at this. Why do I have leverage? No, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a head and a half out in front of him, right? And how did that happen? For me elongating my body, right? So again, a lot of you guys will do this. And then you're running boots here like this. And you're wondering why he switches hips on you real quick. And you're here like this. And, and then your coach is saying, no legs. Don't know what the hell you're doing. Abort. All right, so what I want to do is a jam, half, blocking it, pulling it, wrist, elongate, shallow. And I don't come in here like this. I know all you guys want to do this. Switch hips on me again. You don't lock his hips out doing this. I know you feel like you're safe there and it's, it's, like, it's like a home base for you and, and, and you're in your happy place. It's not good. Okay. Not just turn the best, like throwing it in the hook. Yeah. And I hate to say that. 
perspective, I know there's probably coaches out here that teach deep move. All right? Get yourself in trouble. We'll see as we go on, okay? All right, one more time, then we're going to go do it. So if, you've been paying, if you have not been paying attention, do so now. Jam. All right, he sits down. This time we're going to go claw. Make him sniff his armpit. He moves. Go ahead and move out. I pull. Wrist. Boop. Gonna do two things. What is it? Drive over it and what? Elongate my body. Watch out. When I say elongate, I'm here. So some of you guys say, well, yeah, but then you get high on the guy. Alright? Which yes, I am high on him, but if he comes up, we're gonna do a little talk about a breakdown. Okay? From here, figure four, let go of the wrist. No part of my kneecaps, twist that butt cheek, arch my back. Got it? Go.